All right, so I have a bit of a funny video going on in the background, but I really want to give you all this quick little heads up on why next week you may want to play some Destiny 2. Hey, man, look, I know Power World's hot right now. I'm loving some Power World. Shimmy me out real quick. So if you log in anytime after today, before Tuesday, you're going to get the little next week in Destiny message pop up, letting you know that next week is going to be bonus Vanguard ranks as well as bonus Nightfall rewards, which is always really, really good, especially now that you can hold up to a hundred enhancement prisms and 30 ascendant shards like you get a little stocked up although the knife on next week could be a little bit easier since it is the corrupted but still bonus vanguard ranks and nightfall rewards in the same week is always a pretty huge dub and this also further emphasizes my point that i mentioned in an earlier video when talking about the rewards you could get from the ribbons wishes and your wish tokens that come with it where i said there's no way you should ever use your very limited currency on either two ascendant shards or two ascendant and alloys because you can easily farm that up and next week being double night far rewards means you're going to get at minimum two ascendant shards per drop which is how much one wish token would get you and keep in mind you can only get a maximum of six wish tokens to begin with seriously do not waste your wish tokens on these resources now since it is double vanguard ranks as well this is generally where we're going to tell you some good weapons that you can go and focus the main one used to be the hothead however this season i believe that the crux termination for has completely outclassed the hothead and replaced it as the best arc rocket launcher in the game so i honestly don't feel the need to recommend the hothead anymore whatsoever maybe field clown but even then i still think the crux is just better if you've never played Val the disciple before you could try and get yourself a good undercurrent grenade launcher with your vanguard ingrams that you'll be getting from ranking up due to having double vanguard ranks active next week but even then if you have a forbearance there's no way to go farm up an undercurrent the warden's law is pretty good if you would like to spend some of your vanguard ingrams on that but at the end of the day i feel like most of these weapons are pretty much outclassed or really niche weapons to go after and none of them are super strong standouts anymore at this point however you can still use next week to go ahead and stock up on at least the shards and enhancement prisms and you can always turn your enhancement prisms into enhancement cores and then the last little thing i just want to let you guys know about is that right now Zer is selling a callus mini tool in the tower if you've never gotten that weapon you don't have that weapons pattern even though it is over a year and a half old at this point at least this version of it that you can craft enhanced incandescent on by this point a lot of people definitely have this weapons pattern but i still just wanted to let people know but in case you didn't and you want to use your deep side harmonizers on the callus mini tool you can go ahead and do it this week it is the only 900 rpm solar smg that you can craft with enhanced incandescent so it's always worth mentioning just want to give you guys a quick little heads up while i work on the other video in the background involves two meme weapons remember if you ever want to get your games and dlc for a cheaper price hit up instant gaming top link in the description thank you for watching the video y'all be safe i'm gonna go play some power world adios